so in the last two videos we we have seen that uh, what is the rabin karp algorithm and what is the basics for rabin karp algorithm now in this video we are just uh, going to see how to process the data or you can say how to actually given uh, some given sequence of characters how can we find the values of the sequence of characters now but for simplicity purposes whatever i'm telling you for simplicity purposes we are going to take some sequence of numbers that is a base 10 numbers uh, as a text and the pattern and then we'll try to find out the value of that given text and the given pattern okay so uh, that is just for simplicity purposes but if you want to make it more complicated then obviously you can take the example of all the english characters maybe you can include some kind of special symbols maybe some other language symbols or so on so that that is just to make it more complicated but uh, here i'm trying to make this simple code topic as simple as possible so that you will be able to understand how this thing is working correctly okay now consider it like this so assuming that this is representing a sequence of uh, a text and the text is 9 2 1 4 0 3 7 and 5 so it is representing a sequence of text and maybe we have a sequence of pattern so this is representing a pattern and the digits in the pattern are 7 1 6 and 5 okay and we already know that here we are going to use a total of um 10 symbols so we are just going to use a total of 10 10 symbols that is why we can consider a number system with a base 10 so it is very very easy to find the you know uh, the numerical value of the pattern so assuming that the pattern length is m and the text length is n so it is very easy to find the numerical value of a pattern so how can you do it so for for doing it you can do something like this it is 5 into 10 raised to power 0 plus 6 into 10 raised to power 1 plus 1 into 10 raised to power 2 plus 7 into 10 raised to power 3 okay or you can also write the same equation but with a twist in between so what is a twist twist is you can write it as 7 into 10 raised to power m minus 1 plus 1 into 10 raised to power m minus 2 plus 6 into 10 raised to power m minus 3 plus 7 into 10 raised to power m minus 4 and this m minus 4 because we already know what is the number of digits here so we already know these digits uh so this is actually this is actually zero okay so or uh, you can also we would like the because there are four digits in this entire pattern so this this can be written like this so actually this is just a simple kind of mapping between this and this between this and this this and this and this and this so this is just a simple kind of mapping between these two ways so i'm just representing it like this okay now in the same way you can take some first four or first m digits of the text we can say first we are going to take first m characters from the text from text to find their values okay so the first four characters here are 9 2 1 4 so in on simplicity on in simple purposes how can you find their value so value is 4 uh, into 10 to the power 0 plus 1 into uh, 10 to the power 1 Plus two into ten raised to power two, plus nine into ten raised to power three, and it is very simple, right? But you can also uh, view it like this. It can be written as nine into ten raised to power m minus one, plus two into ten raised to power m minus two, plus one into ten raised to power m minus three, plus four into ten raised to power m minus four. right so you can see that this is the i think there's you already understood this how i uh, came uh, uh, to about this kind of logic okay so this is actually you are just trying to process uh, this given data item and you are trying to find the value okay but now if we found the value of first four digits right and we can compare these two values we are going to compare that whether this given pattern is equivalent to this given text or not 
But you see, to process this data, this is called as processing. We are just trying to find the value of this given pattern. This is called a processing the data. But you see, to process this data, we have to use a for loop. And this for loop is going to take order of m as a time complexity. So to find the value of the pattern, it is going to take order of m time. And even the, to find the value of the first m characters of the text, it is going to take order of m time, right? And now you can say, sir, uh, in worst case, for this pattern if it is taking order of m time to find the value of the pat pattern and this is going, going to be done only once so it is it has to be done only once but this value of pattern uh, this value of text should uh, have should be done every time whenever you are comparing their values so because there are total n digits so in worst case we have to compare n minus m plus one uh, num uh, we have to find the value of these many uh, these many given uh, uh, blocks in the text and every time we are going to do the order of m time in pre-processing pre-processing see uh, don't be confused how i'm getting this value and what is n minus m you can view it like this in worst case we are not going to compare these last three digits right so you can see this uh, if the total pattern is m digits now this last three digits is actually representing m minus n so in worst case if we are going to find a given pattern in a given text then we are going to compare from here to here only so if the total length of the text is n and the length of pattern is m now we are we can only compare till n minus m plus one because after you reach to this location obviously the length of the text is now smaller so you cannot find a pattern inside the text so that is why n minus m plus one so you can see in worst case sir, we are going to do this so obviously it is going to take the same time but no it is not going to take the same time because here there is a trick because uh, next time when you want to find the value of the next block of you know next block of digits in a given text for example here the next block of digit can be represented by so let me use some better color so here the next block of digit is represented by this which is 2140 so if you want to find the value of next block of digits then you don't do not have to calculate it again okay what you can do is from this given value so whatever whatever this given value is right so you can process this given value so what is this value actually so it can be written as 9 let me write it again here so it can be written as 9 into 10 raised to power m minus 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to power m minus 2 plus 1 into 10 raised to power m minus 3 plus 4 into 10 raised to power m minus 4 so you can take 10 raised to power m minus 4 as common from this complete this complete value okay so let me first of all let me show it to you in a very easy way then we will show you it in a numerical way so you can say this is these are the locations uh, which is 4 into 10 raised to power 0 plus 1 into 10 raised to power 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to power 2 plus 9 to 10 raised to power 3 so you can take 10 to 10 to power 0 as common so this entire thing can also be written like this actually okay so then you can take 10 as common so you can take 4 plus 10 into 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to power 1 plus 9 to 10 raised to power 2 now from here again you can take 10 as common so it can turn as 4 plus 10 into 1 plus 10 into 2 plus 9 into 10 right so you can find out the value like this right so this is actually representing the same value which is represented by this one so we are just taking 10 as common now next time if you want to find the value of the next given you know the next given block of digits then what you have to do is from this given text from this given already found already found value you have to you know uh, subtract the value which is 9000 from this right so because the value is 9214 so what you have to do is to find the value of the next given block you have to subtract 9000 from this and then you have to multiply it by 10 and then you have to add the next digit okay so i think you got it from the here the first is 9214 right and the next is 2140 that is 2140 so if you want to find the value of the next four blocks or next block then you have to subtract this 9000 from this then we get 214 multiply this 214 by 10 and plus 4 okay so this is a very simple way of you know by this way you don't do not have to cal calculate the entire value again you do not have to make this whole for loop to go again you can just change 
perform some action on this and you can find the next value right in the same way if uh, this 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 is the given you know uh, it's the given digits so how you can uh, you know uh, compute this value so you can take from these digits you can take m minus 3 as common so it can be written as 9 into 10 raised to power m minus 2 plus 2 into 10 raised to power m minus 3 plus 1 into 10 raised to power m minus 3 plus 4 into 10 raised to power m minus 4 again from these two digits you can take m 10 raised to power m minus 3 as common so it can be written as 9 into 10 raised to power m uh, okay this is a minus 4 right fine so yeah so it is m minus 2 right so you can take again m minus 3 is common so it is m minus 3 plus 2 into uh, 10 raised to power m minus 3 plus 1 into 10 raised to power m minus 3 so this is m minus 3 i guess yeah so this is you have to take m minus 2 as common m minus 3 is common okay so here you have to take m minus 2 as common hmm. uh, fine okay so you can actually compare it with this uh, this given value uh, here we have this is representing 4 then we have 10 which is a minus 3 then again we have to take 10 which is again a minus 3 correct right so this is how you can find out this value now if you find out the want to find out the value of the next block then from this given value you have to subtract 9 into 10 raised to power m minus 3 then you have to multiply this entire number by 10 and then you have to add the next digit that's it and then you can find the value of the next block okay so uh, let me show it to you with a example I, I i know this is very complicated and this becomes very trivial very difficult to understand but let me show it to you with a very simple example assuming that we have this given uh, four digit you know this given text so values are 9 1 2 0 1 6 4 3 7 3 right and then you first found out the value of the first four digits which is 9120 so what is the value this is 9 into 10 raised to power 3 plus 1 into 10 raised to power 2 plus 2 into 10 raised to power 1 plus 0 into 10 raised to power 0 okay so this is the first value okay now we have converted this value into another form which is uh, which can be you know which uh, with that is after pre-processing and that processing will be uh, 0 plus 10 into 2 plus 1 into 10 plus 9 to 10 square okay again you have taken 10 is common from here so it is 9 into 10 plus 1 into 10 plus 2 into 10 plus 0 okay you have done this kind of pre-processing okay this is the entire block that you have now if you want to find out the value of the next four digit block then what you have to do is from this given block we are just going to subtract 9000 okay so it is uh, uh, 9 into 10 plus 1 into 10 plus 2 into 10 plus 0 we are going to subtract 9000 from this and then we are going to multiply the rest by 10 and then again you are going to add the next digit which is equal to 1 so that is that's it then you can find out the next value so you do not have to you know implement an entire loop for this just to find out the value of four digit numbers you can find out the value of a loop so you can assume it as an array so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is representing an index locations of the array so to find the value of first four digits if this is a length n and the pattern is of length m pattern is of length m so just to find out the value first four digit what you have to do is you have to take this index location that is uh, if this is represented by t and this is represented by p so you have to take t into uh, a third index location right so into 10 raised to power m minus uh, 4 plus t into second index location into 10 raised to power m minus 3 plus into third index location uh, which is okay first index location which is t into 1 in 10 raised to power m minus uh, 2 plus uh, t of zeroth index location which is 10 raised to power m minus 1 so this is the given text 
right so you can convert this value so you can see you can take it from the book which is Corman so I'm just trying to you know give you this give the value of this from the book Corman that is given and uh, what they have given is uh, let me show it to you so it is the, what they have written is t of s plus 1 is equal to 10 into t of s minus 10 uh, raised to power m minus 1 into t of uh, s plus 1 uh, plus t of s plus m plus 1 so this is what they have given and a part of this to find the value of pattern what they have given is p of pattern the value of pattern is p of m plus 10 into p of m minus 1 plus 10 into p of m minus 2 plus up to so on 10 into p of 2 plus 10 into p of 1 and so on so you can see you can view it from the book so i've just you know written it like this so you can see whatever they have written or whatever they were they are writing they are just implementing the same function okay so they are just doing this value and this is how they are implementing this same entire value to find the value of the next next four digits and again if you want to find the value of next four digits like here which is a 2116 to find the value of next four digits what you have to do is the previous value which is 12,000 uh, uh, 12,001 from this 12,001 you have to subtract uh, 1,000 so it is 1201 you have to subtract 1000 then you have to add it multiplied by 10 and then you have to add the next digit which is 6 so you, again you are going to get 2116 again to find the next four digits what you have to do is from 2116 subtract the value which is from that index location uh, which is on the second index location so you are going to subtract uh, 10 uh, that is if t of second index location what are the values which is 2 and multiply it by 10 raised to the power 3 and then you are going to multiply it by 10 plus you are going to add the next uh, index location which is the sixth index location the value is 4 again you are going to do it like this so you don't do not have to actually evaluate or do not have to find the value of the next you know uh, the next four blocks in a given text but rather instead of evaluating the value of next four blocks you are just going to you know use it you're just going to evaluate like this because every time see in case of pre-processing it take order of uh, m time which is uh, you have to implement a for loop but next time to evaluate the value of next four digits you do not have to implement the for loop you can just implement this kind of formula so that you can find out the value of next four digits okay and this is called as pre-processing in case of uh, this algorithm which is uh, the Rabin Kapp algorithm. So let us move on to the next video where I'm just going to continue with the pre-processing and again uh, I'm going to explain you how this uh, uh, entire algorithm is working and what are the main flaws in this algorithm then we are going to convert it that way. Okay.